Uh, here we are uh, visiting uh, the site of uh, Pale Ferry, uh, where uh, Bon Ferry is doing its work. And uh, today is a particular day because it doesn't rain every day in the Sahel, but our visit has been blessed. Because this whole place is, was uh, uh, kind of barren, there is no trees, no life, nothing. But uh, with their own effort and resources, they have been, they have been able to regreen it. Well, when you live in a community, in a hill that used to be green and now it's completely yellow, you start asking yourself, what can you do to make it green again? And this is what a community living in Niger, in the hill of Ferry Ferry, close to the town of Tilaberi, did. In 2008, community members, local authorities and others established the Bon Ferry Group. Their aim was to restore the deforested vegetation of Ferry Ferry Hill and reduce the risk of disasters. Replanting trees and crops has helped prevent large volumes of rainwater running down the hill and flooding the villages below. It's also reduced the risk of drought by increasing the water supply on the hill. This means better crop yields and improved food security. Institutionalising Sustainable Community-Based Disaster Risk Management, or CBDRM, is an ambitious USAID OFTA funded programme. Partners across Africa, Asia and Latin America submitted 264 case studies of CBDRM. The best 25 case studies in each region were then analysed in more depth to identify the ingredients for how CBDRM can be the most sustainable and institutionalised. This video showcases how these ingredients can be mixed together and used in practice to make CBDRM more successful. Uh, Bonferre has been doing a tremendous work. They have started this initiative back in 1998. Today we are in uh, uh, 2018 and a lot of work has been done. They bring vegetables and all this thing out. We see grass and explain to us that animals belonging to households here come once and graze the area and uh, women are particularly getting vegetables, local vegetables that they can cook in addition to their main dishes and uh, it's uh, improve uh, their calorie intakes and all these things. Restoring the natural environment by planting trees and crops has reduced the risk of drought and flooding for the Ferry Ferry community. Producing hay for feeding cattle also generates money. And by involving women and other marginalised groups, the Bon Ferry Group has ensured that everyone benefits. Two key elements of success of the project have been uh, ownership through self-organising and setting up of local structures at community level and inclusion of all different community groups in the activity of the project. As we can see down there, the stream is carrying it out from the film. This water can be, could have been harvested and when they harvest it, it could be used for other purposes also, either economic or to enhance the environmental activities that is being going here, like uh, harvesting this water for the trees that have been planted, and also we can do a lot of gardening also, and uh, make uh, some profit, I mean, uh, growing vegetables that uh, women, kids, and everyone in the households could, uh, could have eat and, uh, you know, this will enhance uh, their food security also. A key element of success for the activities of the Bon Ferre group was uh, its adaptiveness. So the project was able to adapt through different innovations such as um, harvesting the waters coming from the hill. It ensured the buy-in from community members by showcasing its values and this was really important for the project to be permanent and to be sustained in the long term. It all came together with the community understanding that there was a long-term value of these activities and the impact on environmental restoration uh, and also understanding that there were some short-term benefits that the community could gain in engaging in this project. C'est des personnes motivées, engagées qui sont véritablement arrivées à comprendre tous les enjeux environnementaux qui existent et qu'ils ont pris la décision de faire des choses. C'est vrai qu'ils sont accompagnés aujourd'hui par les services techniques, juste techniquement, mais financièrement, ils n'ont pas eu besoin d'attendre un apport extérieur pour commencer. Donc c'est vraiment avec ce que nous visitons 
que nous pensons que c'est une activité qui va inspirer notre travail, qui va inspirer nos initiatives et qui va amener évidemment à faire des coopérations entre les pays pour que les communautés s'engagent. Nous qui travaillons pour l'environnement, c'est vrai qu'on travaille parce que l'environnement est en, en dépétition, est en danger, mais c'est d'abord pour la communauté locale. Tant que la communauté locale ne, ne s'organise pas, tant que la communauté locale ne décide pas à prendre la responsabilité pour la gestion environnementale, on va faire des, des activités, on va dépenser des fonds, mais on ne va pas vraiment arriver à des résultats. Et ça, c'est un modèle que nous allons, ce que nous saluons, c'est un modèle que nous allons tenter de répliquer, c'est un modèle que nous allons vraiment enseigner dans nos localités pour que cet environnement puisse effectivement avoir sa protection, parce que ça dépend de notre vie. Même s'il n'y a pas l'argent, on peut travailler. S'il y a la volonté, il y a le charisme, il y a ces femmes-là qui sont engagées, on peut dire. Et, et ces femmes-là, je, je trouve qu'ils ont la volonté de faire. Et je remercie leur courage et leur volonté. People have asked how we can replicate the successes of the Bonferrey Group. And the experience of the community shows that it's by creating a culture of sharing success stories with uh, the communities nearby and with broader communities. Uh, especially about including uh, marginalized groups and the benefits that this bring and promoting to the local government the role that community members have in disaster risk management. <laughs> que euh, la réduction des risques de catastrophes est d'abord une affaire communautaire. C'est à la base que nous pouvons gagner ce combat et non par une méthode euh, descendante. C'est plutôt les communautés, quand elles acceptent, elles comprennent, elles adhèrent, elles s'engagent, elles développent un leadership local pour développer aussi des activités de réduction des risques de catastrophes comme ce que nous avons vu. C'est en cela que nous pouvons véritablement réduire significativement les conséquences des catastrophes sur le développement.